Prior to the 1950s, the area between Salisbury and Gawler was commonly referred to as the Adelaide or Gawler Plains. For South Australia's first 100 years, its primary industry served and supplemented its farming activities. Each country town had its own blacksmiths and wheelwright shops, its mills, and often its own brewery and foundry. Elizabeth's foster mother, the township of Salisbury, was laid out in 1848. For the next 100 years, farmers, publicans, shopkeepers, millers, blacksmiths, labourers and their wives all settled down to work their trades and raise their families in a quiet, sometimes unforgiving countryside. Salisbury grew slowly, with a population numbered between 400 and 500 in 1881. In 1940, an explosives and filling factory, the Salisbury Explosives Factory, was established at Penfield just to the north, for which employee housing was added at Salisbury. The population of Salisbury and the surrounding district virtually doubled overnight to more than 4,000 most of this being concentrated in the township of Salisbury. The factory, which covered around 12 kilometres, was in production by mid-1942, and by January 1943, employed 6,500 people, producing 135,000 shells, bombs and mines every week for the war effort. It was not until the 1950s, in response to the Populate or Perish mandate, instigated by the Chifley government, that expanding Adelaide sent the next great wave of development across the plain, and Elizabeth was founded, changing the face of the Adelaide Plains and Salisbury forever.